Hey guys, Peugeot here and welcome to another guide. Today we will be reviewing the newest commander that has been added with the latest update and as of two days ago you can now obtain that commander with the commander wheel and if you have the money you can get the commander to four stars easily of course i am talking about the commander that maybe will make the bows great again and that is the commander Kosomo. now first things first i will show you how you can obtain the commander and that can be found right here so this is the awakening turntable you know how it works you have the quests if you obtain some medals you can get some extra ones this is for the guys that will spend a lot of money and this is the turntable itself as you can see it's the same like it was for every other ss commander and you're gonna be needing a lot of money here about three to four thousand dollars to get that commander to four stars if you do it in this way personally i'm going to wait until the commander is released into the corolla or in the shop packs so then i should be able to get him on the cheap side so let's dive into the commander and see how he works yes i'm saying he because while the picture is not a hundred percent telling us whether it's a man or a woman i can tell you it's a man because if we go in the description you can see it says it's a he so this means you cannot use him with female bow but rather you're going to be using the standard bow which i personally like a lot and let us look first of all at the basic stats so bowman attack 50 percent the same like egbert very good total health 25 percent also quite good and then the third thing usually the commanders of the same level they have something related to counter but since bows are not interested in counter we have something else our archer's damage is increased by seven and a half percent let's imagine the commander gets to three stars so what does this mean this means the bowman attack will become 80 percent the total health will become 40 percent and the archer's bonus damage will be 12 percent so so far on the stat size very good second thing we are going to review the guard skills that are also quite important because this commander can actually be the commander that you need in order to start two hitting level five rebel leaders and let's read it he throws a poison orb forward upon explosion dealing some damage and inflicting three stacks of plague to the enemies within the area the plague actually reduces the enemy's base defense by three for five seconds and this is stacking 20 times this means reducing a maximum of 60 base defense and if you manage to stack this indefinitely you are going to be dealing massive massive damage to the rebel leader what else his damage to enemies that have plague is increased by 30 percent for each stack of plague so imagine 20 stacks this is about 600 percent extra damage so this is starting to look like enzo now it's going to be an insane damage dealer but what else the normal attacks have a 20 percent probability of adding one layer of plague this means that there is a high chance for you to stack a lot of plague on the target and it adds 134 to strategy as you know the strategy is basically increasing the skill damage this is also good overall and as you can see he's going to be a great damage dealer i cannot wait to get kosomo to four stars and test him on a rebel leader then let us look first of all at the army awakening skill which is what could make bow great again so when the bowmen attack there is a five percent chance to shoot corrosive arrows dealing damage equivalent to 150 percent of the troops attack to the target lineup and inflicting one stack of corrosion so far so good each 10,000 royal bowmen or ancient bowmen meaning tier 4 and tier 5 in the attacking troop 
increases the chance to shoot corrosive arrows by 1%. So what does this mean? This means if you have 300,000 tier 4 and tier 5 combined, because it says here up to 30%, this means you have 30% chance or pretty much one in every three attacks is going to be corrosive. And then what does the corrosion do? Every stack of corrosion reduces the base health, this is huge, by two. And this is stacking up to 10 times. And when you combine Kosomo with Kravras, who is actually giving extra attacks, and Melisandra that is actually giving extra damage to each of those attacks and then with Kosomo's corrosion ability you have the chance to annihilate your opponent quite fast before they know what hit them. So basically with 10 stacks you reduce their base health by 2 and with all of the other damage increasing abilities including the 12% here and then Egbert is increasing the damage of the bow a lot and Melisandra adding additional damage to each of the arrows and of course Kravras granting the extra attacks you can throw in the dragon flame skill that is going to help a bit and what do we have here we have a potential bow comeback what bow players have been waiting for and let's look at a possible formation now this is the formation that people are using the ones that are not using female bow so this is normal bow as we like to call it so as i was saying this is great in defense but also in offense the thing is that you're just not going to be using the awakening skill of tion in offense but he's still adding quite a bit of good stats so what do you have Kravras having 20% chance of additionally attacking one time with the weapon, currently that's a 27% for me. Then you have Melisandra having 50% chance to add 10% bonus fire damage with her weapon, that's currently at about 70%. Theon, I also have his weapon, he is actually increasing the total attack up to like 60% when I'm defending and you have Egbert increasing a 100% with his weapon at the moment for 15 seconds in the beginning and this is where Kosomo will come he will be replacing Kevin because at the moment the best choice we could use was not Shiwa, was not Sansa, was not Obian. Of course, if you don't have like Daenerys or uh, Cersei or anything like that, you could be using Kevin because whenever the front row is using normal attacks, which is something that gets boosted by Kravras, there is 15% of granting a shield that reduces 10% non-skill damage for 2 seconds. So this is what we've been using so far. We remove Kevin, we add Kosomo right here and this will be your new formation. That is what I recommend. And lastly, let us look at the Siege of Winterfell screen because here we can see the strategic RTS skills of Kosomo that you can be using in Lost Realm, also in the Siege of Winterfell and in the All Out War. First of all the stats 240%, that's amazing, will make your bows stronger and then the skill Arrow Storm, it increases the attack and the health at the same time for 10 seconds. This is probably the longest lasting skill that I've seen in Siege of Winterfell. 10 seconds is quite huge. Your stats will become insane. 1200% is quite a bit and both to attack and to health. But then there is more. There is a passive effect that when the commander is deployed, each of the commanded troops attacks have 20% chance to inflict corrosion on the enemy. And this is stacking up to 3 times and this means enemies inflicted with corrosion increase damage taken by 20% for 3 seconds. This means that if you get lucky and you manage to keep the stacks up, your opponent can take 60% 
extra damage, which means that not only your bowman march will be quite a bit stronger, but when you have three bow marches and the enemy march is taking 60% increased damage, you can kill them before they can do any significant damage to you. Not only the commander is very strong in terms of the 4 star skill and also in terms of the guard skill that can be used against rebel leaders but also we can see in Siege of Winterfell this commander can be very strong and can lead you to victory. So guys that is the new commander. Let me know what do you think. Let me know if you like Kosomo and if you're going to get him now immediately or you're going to wait a bit let me know if you're gonna switch to bowman whether for the first time or you're gonna return to bowman and i'll see you on the next one